Hello everyone, and welcome to my TF2 Top 9 Weapons. We're going to be going from left to right by class, and they are in no particular order. But I will tell you now, Medic's my main, so I'm pretty biased to the Medic gun that I chose. Moving on. So, I lost my footage for the first one. God damn it. Anyway, the first one on my list, since I'm going in order, is the Mad Milk. This piece of absolute white del- Hello everyone, and welcome to my TF2 Top 9 Weapons. We're gonna be going from left to right by class, and they are in no particular order. But I will tell you now, medic's my main, so I'm pretty biased to the medic gun that I chose. Moving on. It's, uh, it's pretty darn overpowered. No downsides, pretty much. None that count. It has to recharge, but... Moving on. Now for my second item is a weapon that m not all people will agree with, because... These are my opinions on what I think are the best TF2 weapons. But, it's the Equalizer. Now, hear me out. When I play Soldier, I get damaged a lot. I'm a high health class. People want to take me out. And if you've ever wanted some extra damage with a melee, well, you'll look at that. Are you bad at market gardening but still want to do decent damage? Damage yourself by rocket jumping. And then when you get down, you can just smack them and do more damage. Like, when you get to the ground. It's as simple as that. It's it's really easy. I don't know what to tell you if you don't like it. Downsides are, well, you get less healing from medic sources while it's active. But you do more damage the lower health you have. So, I think this, uh... This weapon ought to equal the odds of any situation. Except for maybe that one. Now, for the next item, it's a weapon that I pulled straight from hell. Now, a lot of the weapons you guys probably aren't going to like as much as I do, because they don't take as much skill. But it's the Scorch Shot. Yeah, it, it's the Scorch Shot. I like blowing things up. And I like burning things. Not to mention that this thing, when it hits the enemy, it bounces them back, and then it does crits whenever it whenever it hits someone that's on fire, and it explodes when it only hits the ground. So you can light someone on fire, and then when it explodes on the ground, it does a crit. I don't know what the heck that's about, but I like it a lot. Like a a really dang good amount. Basically, it's an explosive flare gun. It does slightly less damage. It's a flare gun. In all seriousness, come on. The downsides are it's a 35% damage penalty, and if you shoot yourself with the explosion, it doesn't do that much damage. 100% crits versus burning players. Flare knocks back targets and explodes when it hits the ground. Increased knockback on burning players. Ooh. Interesting. You could really knock someone back with it. It's a real snack attack. Now this one, this one, I will stand behind to all ends. It's the quickie bomb launcher. I just like how you can charge shots that do more more damage. And if you wanted to jump with them, they do 15% less damage as long as, as they're not fully charged shots. So you can just, like, put two down and not have to take as much damage. Now, if that ain't an upside to be selective, I don't know what it is. I mean, yeah, it takes a little bit more time to, be a to actually use them. But, like, as a damage doer, but it's still a really cool item. And I think it could really even the odds. Plus, the char it charges up really quickly. So, if you want those extra damage setups pretty dang nice and quick, 
uh, because the as the if it has a full charge, it does uh, more damage. If it doesn't, it does less. That's pretty much the idea behind it, which I think is pretty darn neat. So if you want to do some sticky jumping but not use the sticky jumper, there you go. If you want to still be able to do the damage, there you go. It's it's simple. This next one is the absolute most delicious thing in TF2. Now you all might think a sandwich is better, but right here I have the Delonkis bar. You can get yourself overheal if you do not have a medic. You can get yourself the same overheal for 30 seconds and an extra 50 health for all the time without even without the overheal for those 30 seconds. The overheal deteriorates either way, but still. It can definitely keep you in a battle. If you're about to run into somewhere, you can just have yourself a Delonkis bar, and there you go, 400 health. Easy to protect. Easy. It also works as a, as a medium health kit, and takes less time than the sandwich to recharge. You toss it down, there you go, small health kit. You need healing? You need healing? Anyone need healing? I got chocolate. Here you go. Boop. There you go. Protecting the team. The next one is one of my favorite items in the whole game. Now, if you've been watching me play NG before, you'll know that I love me a good gunslinger. Build sentries quick, and build lots of sentries. Pisses people off, and it's absolutely fun. And you can do this. Not to mention, if on this third successful hit, it does a crit on anyone. If you can hit people three times, it will do a crit. The downsides is that it switches the regular sentry with a mini sentry. There are and there are no random critical hits. But with the third punch as a guaranteed crit, I think it's good chances. Not to mention the 150% better build rate of sentries, because there are many sentries, and of course, 25 max health, which brings you out of the tiny health range. Now, for combat engineers, that's pretty damn neat. I also forgot to mention you can hide these in bushes on certain maps that have bushes. And you can heal it all in one punch. And the mini sentries do have less health. Those crits, bruh. Crits. Quick setups. Gotta love quick setup. Gotta move that gear up. Oh boy, now we're moving on to the mains. Oh god, this it's a hard decision. I really love Medic. He's got so many cool weapons. Uh um stock medigun. Uh Crusader's crossbow. Um But no, in all seriousness. My favorite medic weapon is the quick fix. <laughs> Without a doubt, it's the quick fix. This thing has increased heal rate at the cost of less overheal, which increased heal rate's pretty damn neat. Uh, it really helps you do the main job of the medic, not to sit on someone's butt and uber charge that one person, but to heal the whole team with the extra heal rate. 
But uh, it's Uber. Well, it's Uber's origination. It doesn't actually make you invincible. But it's still pretty cool because you can just pop it and heal everyone extremely quickly. Like, it does it really quick. Like, you down to 10 health, you're going to be back to full in, like, no time. Unless you're already at full health, in which case overheal is slow as hell. But all the wep all the medic weapons are my babies. But this, this one is the absolute killer. This weapon comes with only the downsides of less overheal. It has plus 10% uber charge rate and plus 40% heal rate. It's pretty damn neat. It also allows you to mirror blast jumps and stuff like that. Explosive stuff. And uh, if it wasn't... It used to have a stat to where you could just, like, if you were healing a scout, you'd go scout speed. But unfortunately, in recent updates, they got rid of the appeal because they gave all guns that option. Except for the blast jumping. You can't do the blast jumping, but you can go, uh, you can go scout speed if you're healing a scout. Next up is Sniper. Now, Sniper... He's an interesting class. There's there's some different ways to play him for sure. But my weapon of choice for sniper, Sydney Sleeper. Yep, it's the Sydney Sleeper. A severely hated weapon in the JF2 community, and it's extremely underrated. People think that like people really just don't like it. People don't like that there's less damage. All right, or not less damage, but no headshots. All right, there's no headshots for all you freaking headshot snipers. There's also no random critical hits, but it has a plus 25% charge rate, which I really like because I like quick charging. On scope, Jurati hits for two to eight seconds, depending on the amount of charge, and headshots of fully shots are an explosion of Jurati. So, instead of actually having a bottle of piss Jurati to throw at them, you can sit back in the safety of your own cubby and just inject everyone separately with Jurati. 100% safe. It's just, it's just neat. Why, why do people like, or why do people hate this weapon? It's a good weapon, I promise. Now, the next one, it comes from my least, one of my least favorite classes. Between Heavy, Spy, and Sniper. Th those are my least liked. But, I still have a weapon that I really like for Spy. Now, some of you might say Patience are vir is a virtue. But, this item, it promotes Patience. You can stay invisible as you want. But here's the catch. It takes up charge when you're moving. It is a invisible watch called the Cloak and Dagger. You can stay cloaked as long as you want, as long as you do not move that much. As long as you stay discreet. You can do all this running around and crap just sit here. But if they see you, it's still going to do the crap. And uh, if you keep walking around with it on, you will be pretty dang highlighted and pretty dang loud. So I'd advise you wouldn't do that. But anyway, if you liked this top 10, please like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.